so hello everyone and welcome back to the channel it's me antonio back with another video today out in out in public out in the open having um you know having having a good walk session and um I was like why not shoot the video it's been a few days and um just wanted to put out something for you guys you know i've actually been um lecturing people <laughs> so my energy is kind of going somewhere else normally i would put out videos but I've been lecturing different people um in my life um, whether they're close to me or if they're just someone i happen to come across uh on the interwebs you know, people are needing advice and help and things like that. Um, you know, whatever little uh, ways that you can help people or give it, people advice uh, to conquer their hurdles that they are currently trying to surmount, you know, that's always a good thing. You know, if you know how to do something, you know, no one's perfect, but if you know how to do one thing, you should be able to give people advice or uh, help people with that thing. You know, the best advice comes from, you know, someone that has walked that path or experienced that whole thing. But, yeah, so, you know, I would have had put out, you know, content, but I'm spending more time and more uh, uh, in phone conversations with people, two, three hour long conversations uh, and things like that. You know, it goes hand in hand with the law of correspondence, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to. Uh, get on today and um, shoot some content for you guys while I'm out getting some good sun um, Had to take the mask off, you know, uploaded some uh, some photos and some videos of me out at a um, a Haitian restaurant out at an island restaurant earlier um, Getting some lunch, you know Always up to go grab some lunch Stay in the house all the time, you know, take an hour or two go out have lunch you know, get some fresh air. The more the merrier, right? Um, but yeah, so regarding the law of correspondence. So the way that, uh, um, especially nowadays, through the communication age, through the internet and all these things, people are able to, communi to communicate without speaking to each other. But the law, see, that's, that's one of those laws that's, uh, that, you know, those universal laws and principles that men are able to bend. Now, men can, um, can try to simulate gravity and things like that. You know, those, those types of things are possible. Men and women try to change their gender and things like that. So, indeed, these are laws that, again, men uh, try to break. Um, you know, again, science and religion being the same thing. You know, the first man being named Adam and the first molecule or your body is made up of atoms. Um, but, you know, that's the way we've always been able to get things done was a way of communication. You know, if you don't have any arms or legs, if you're just an amoeba or a slug, you communicate through messaging. You communicate through talking. You communicate through singing. You communicate through correspondence. You know, in corporate America or in the business world, we call that sending facts, uh, faxes, emails, um, letters uh, notices memos things like that um just different various ways of communication communicating i mean you can even look at the root words um a lot of these words you can get down to the bare minimum by you know there's a reason why they told you to sound the word out or break it down in school another way that i learned how to uh, read and break down gigantic words and things like that. You know, you have syllables in a word, you know How many syllables are in your name? Antonio. I have four syllables in my name But um Or maybe I'm getting it wrong. You know, I haven't been to school so long. I believe the syllables, right? <laughs> but um, you know that that's how it goes and you can look at some of these words communicate correspondence they start with C-O always a form of you know communication conversion look at all the words that start with co you can kind of get an understanding of what 
of the powers of the letter of of the powers of the letter C and the powers of the letter O. We all know the wheel or the circle or the number zero are very powerful numbers. They they run hand in hand with the symbolization of the wheel or the world. You know, the world was built. We built um, all types of empires uh, once man created the circle or the wheel. Um, but yeah, you know, the law of correspondence. Again, even computers. Communi computers communicate as well. They talk to each other. They're on a network. Um, they communicate with ones and zeros. Um, yeah, man. So, you know, that's all it is. Um, you just have to be wary of, again, your thoughts. Um, you have to be wary of the words that are coming out of your mouth. You know, they always have the sayings about, you know, the tongue is mightier than the sword. You know, sometimes the words that you say can cut deep. Um, sometimes the words can leave very vivid memories. Um, you know, indeed, the best authors, editors, and writers out there are able to paint very vivid images with their uh, the thoughts and the words that they put down on paper. Um, you know, again, these are all ways of correspondence, ways of communicating. You have language as well. You know, there are well over a thousand languages <laughs> in this world, you know, different ways of communicating. Again, that's the power of, of man. You know, you have your thoughts. You have... You have your your tongue, the way you communicate with people or express your ideas. And then you have action. You know, the things that you do, the power you put behind your your words and your thoughts. You know, you want to let people know what's going on sometimes, man. Correspondence. But these are all very important uh, universal laws. The law of mentalism. Um, Mastering your mind, uh, being mindful, being aware, you know, being able to think in the present, um, you know, just being able to use your brain. It's the most powerful thing in the world. What do you think created the computer? What do you think created the cell phone? It was the human brain. They say that the humans only use 10% of their brain power, which I'm sure, you know, they were probably saying that 50 years ago. I mean, I wonder how far we've come in 2021 they will have to do that study again <laughs> but um yeah man that's how you do it it's getting windy out so i'm gonna close it out for you guys today that's all i wanted to talk to you guys about on the law of correspondence what's up man what y'all doing where y'all finna head to yeah yeah it's my cousin over and his his friend you know can't stay in the house all day, man. Got to get out and do some. Get out and do some walking. I was thinking. I was like, huh? Should I get a another car for the summertime? Nah, I'm good. <laughs> I'm Gucci, but um. Yeah, man, there's going to be more laws that I'm going to be talking about. Um, I just wanted to, uh, you know, they're simple ideas. Like I said, you know, people don't really pay attention really to the world around them. They don't really pay attention to their thoughts, their emotions, you know, the, the, you know, the things that they speak, you know, the food that they put to the body, the things that they listen to and watch and things like that. The people, the company they keep, you know, if you want to reset your life. Or whatever it is that you you have to go into it with intent. You have to go into it uh, with an open mind. You're going to have to go into it realizing that, you know, in order to do something or get different results, you're going to have to do something that you have never done before. You know, you when you go to the gym to work out, it hurts. You want to change your body, it hurts. You want to lose weight, it hurts. <laughs> That's like with anything, if you want that paycheck at the end of the week, you have to put in those sweat equity hours. You have to sit at your, it hurts. 
So you have to be able to have discipline, sit at your desk, stop snacking all day long, and do your job. I witness it all the time. Again, the women want to talk about that black girl magic. But I've worked in corporate America for the past nine or ten years, sitting in call centers, making easy money, sitting in the AC. I don't know why people make it so so hard when it's so easy, and they wonder why they're getting paid minimum wage. You know, I, I, I literally sat, sat at these desks doing these easy jobs, <laughs> finessing these easy programs, doing customer service or sales or whatever the, whatever I was doing. And there were literally women sitting around me talking about sex at work, literally wearing what they wanted to wear at work, twerking at work, and would get mad at me that I was not looking at them or I wouldn't talk to them or things like that. Like, things like this matter. Like, when people see you doing things or associating yourself with certain people, they will look at you in a certain light as well. <laughs> I'd rather give off my, I'd rather have people have an impression of me based off of me than an impression of somebody. You know, he hangs around these people and he hangs around those types of people. Now, don't get me wrong. There's a whole type of, there's a whole spectrum of people out there. So, you know, you place people where you need to place them. But, you know, that's all it is. Law of correspondence, communicating with people and making sure, you know, everyone has their POV in order. And that's it, man. Y'all be safe. We gotta go in the house and eat some lunch and um, <laughs> enjoy my day. Be safe.